Hey guys, welcome to the devlog 4 of Palm Sugar, a village story. It's been almost 3 months since I've last released a devlog. In this devlog, I'll talk about the development so far, with the challenges in making the game for mobile and PC at the same time. So let's begin with the challenges of making this game available on mobile and PC. Since we haven't figured out all the features of this game, makes us question how easy or difficult this game will be on two platforms. Here, you can see me drawing the interface of mobile, but I have no idea if this is what we will be going ahead with. So my developer and I decided to only stick to PC for the time being as it's more convenient to develop for the PC. Later when we are feature ready, we can then think about making it for mobile or porting it to other consoles. Now I know for the last few videos, I've only shown you me drawing this auto asset. This is because this is the only asset I have recorded myself drawing. I don't like to record asset drawing as it takes away the focus and makes me conscious of the recording process. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy watching the speed drawing process of assets. I'll make sure to record some important assets so that you folks can enjoy them. Or if there is any other aspect of game development that you want me to cover. Our developer used physics 2 dcirclecast technique to create the dialogue system in Unity. When the player is in the vicinity of an NPC and the circle cast collides with it, the dialogue pops up. With Palm Sugar, I want to make one thing very clear, that obstacle should be part of the environment. So we decided that Mason throwing bricks at the construction site would be acting as an obstacle in the game. I'm not going to reveal much details about this as I want players to experience this during the gameplay. While making assets, you tend to forget that you have made these pool of assets that has a potential to be used throughout the game. However, as I kept developing assets, I keep forgetting to use the previously developed assets and was only focusing on the new assets. Once I went back to segregating my assets, I realized how many assets I had made and uh, once I started using it, the level started looking a lot more complete. I wanted to hear from you folks what aspect of game development that you want to see. Please comment and I'll make sure to include that in the next devlog. If you like what I'm building, consider subscribing to my channel. See you folks in the next devlog.